I want the pizza artist back again, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to stretch out a pizza dough. That's right, a lot of people have been asking what's the proper way of stretching out a pizza, and on today's video, I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to show you how to mix the pizza dough, that's on the next video. This is strictly how to stretch the dough out. Go to your local bakery, local grocery store, buy a pizza dough and bring it home. How do I stretch it out? Well, on today's video, I'm going to show you how. Very quick, very easy, very simple, and uh, you're going to learn a lot of tips and a lot of uh, things you might not have known about pizza dough before. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, I hope you subscribe, because right now I need your help. I need to get my own URL, I need a minimum of 100 subscribers to get it. So I hope you enjoy this video, and subscribe to the channel, because the pizza artist loves pizza. And I love making it, I love eating it, and I love sharing it with you. So I need your help, subscribe so I can keep making more videos like this. Thanks everyone. Real, let's get on with the video. Alright, so here we are. We went to our local bakery or our local grocery store. We bought our pizza dough. So normal pizza doughs, I don't know, like 800 grams, 900 grams. Some bakeries or uh, grocery stores have it differently. Let's just say whatever the size it is, it, it's going to be good enough. This one here is about 900 grams. Let's get cracking. So you get your pizza dough home. You notice I don't have any flour or anything. So the pizza dough, if it's done properly, I mean you can put a little bit of flour if you want, but if it's done properly, you don't need any flour. Table, your table, your working area is clean, nice and nice and clean. You get your pizza dough out. By the way, I got my pan already here greased up and ready to go. I've had that pan for 20 years. So you get your dough. Now this is the trick. I just opened, I just took it out of the bag. Now, what do I do? I don't destroy it. It's already been mixed. You gently hold it in your hand. You can put it on the counter like that. And that's it. Don't kill it. Don't stretch it. Don't, don't knead it. You don't have to remix it. That's the problem with dough. Dough is just like a human being. It's got feelings. You got feelings. The dough's got feelings. Now, how would you like it if someone was pushing you like this all day? How would you like it? Say, for an hour, I'm doing this to you. You'd get nervous. And the dough is the same thing. The dough gets nervous. It likes to be treated gentle, nice, just like you. If somebody was nice and gentle to you, that's something enjoyable, right? Enjoyable. Right? Your wife is touching you nicely like this, feels good. But if your wife is touching you like this, you're gonna get angry, you're gonna get tense. Same with the dough. So the dough is on the countertop, nice and easy, right? I'm gonna show you, like, with a, let's just, I'm gonna break a piece of dough what happens is, a lot of people when they take the dough home, they start going like this with it, you know? Or they start playing around with it, like that. And then they'll say, geez, I wonder why I couldn't stretch the dough. They'll phone the bakery up and they say, I'm having a hard time stretching it. Um, what are you doing with the dough? Especially little kids, it's fun to make pizzas. But little kids, you know, they like to handle it like this and they'll, they'll destroy it. Like, no, it's okay, because you can let it rest. Dough is very forgiving. You'll leave it on the counter for 20 minutes or so and it can rest and it'll relax again. The gluten will calm down. Everybody's going to be happy again. But the point is, when you're rough like this, right? Because it's fun, right? You got dough in your hands. Ha, 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 ha. But the problem is then after it's not going to stretch out. You'll be like, you'll be stretching it and it comes back. Stretching it and you see that? Look, watch this. Stretch and it comes back. Stretch and it comes back. And that's what happens. But if you're gentle, gentle. Look, look at the dough. I, I literally haven't done anything to it. Just by being gentle, it's already stretching out on its own. Look, look at that. Now, you could put a little bit of flour if you want. I don't need it. So the dough is already stretching out. Look at this. This dough is already done. You put it on your pan, you stretch, just finish off the ends, let it rest. It's done. That's my point. Dough needs to be rested, relaxed, not nervous. Here's the nervous dough. Look. Brr, brr. See? Look. Brr. It comes back in. That's nervous dough. Angry dough. This dough ain't gonna make you pizza. Gentle dough. Easy going dough. Look, it's already done. You didn't need flour. You didn't need a rolling pin. The dough is stretched already, just by, just by being gentle. Now, just by gentle, I can put it on my pan. Just by being gentle. That's it. 
Okay, it folded on me a little bit here, but that's okay. Gentle. You didn't need to use a rolling pin. You didn't need to roll it out. You didn't need to uh, call in the army. Nothing. You, the, the whole point of the doll is relaxation. Like you, when you're relaxed, you do better work, right? You work for Google or something, you know, they have all these gadgets. The workers are relaxed. That's why they're more productive. You know, when you work in an environment where it's always, you know, go, 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 and angry people, you don't get your job done right. But when you're happy and you're relaxed, you get your job done properly. Look at this dose, just stretching easily. And, uh, and you can leave it for 10 minutes. Come back and just finish stretching the rest. It, that's the dough relax and everything, you know, the gluten's taking it easy, nobody's upset. And this is gonna be a fantastic pizza. You're gonna bake it, you're gonna love it. And then you can even do stuff like, because the dough's so relaxed, you can go crazy, put cheese in the crust and fold it over. Like, what, instead this dough here, look, angry dough. You, you ain't making nothing with this. This pizza here, forget it. Angry dough, no good. Relaxed dough, yummy. Fantastic. Yummy. So, what did you learn today on the Pizza Artist? You learned that dough is just like you and me. It's gotta be very relaxed. It can't be nervous. It can't be, uh, you know, don't get it stressed out. Don't poke it. Don't go like this, watch it. Like this is angry dough, right? Don't go. Don't do it, that's angry, no. Calm though, very easy. You know, all these guys, it's just for TV when you see them going crazy with the dough and you know, oh, hey, uh, you know, here you go, uh, pasta fagiola, no. That's just for TV. Your pizza at home, you want it to be delicious, no holes in the dough. There you go, perfectly stretched dough. You can even let it rest for another minute and then it'll just, look, no, it's perfect. I didn't use no flour, didn't use no rolling pin. I didn't get, I didn't have to, none of that. Didn't grease anything, no. I just took it easy. Relaxed dough is the best dough. And this, my friends, is how you stretch a pizza dough. This is how you stretch a pizza dough you buy. Now I'm gonna show you in the next video, because I don't have, Teresa's not here today. She's gonna, Mrs. Pizza Artist is gonna help me with that one. She's gonna show us how to make a dough. She makes a great dough. So we're gonna steal her recipe, and I hope you enjoy it. But we need subscribers. We hit at least 60 subscribers. Mrs. Pizza Artist is gonna make the pizza dough for us, okay? So we need 60 subscribers. We're at 54 right now, I need six more subscribers. So Mrs. Pizza Artist is gonna show us how to make pizza. So please everyone, hit that subscribe button. I don't know, it's somewhere over here. There, or there, I don't know. You'll see it somewhere here. Subscribe and uh, like the video, share it. Uh, join the pizza community, because that's what it is, here on the Pizza Artist.